Hello everyone, this is Imran Nemu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will talk more details about inline CSS. In the past video, we could learn that we can write three different types of CSS. The first one is inline CSS and internal CSS and the third one is external CSS. Okay, in this video, I will just write inline CSS. Here, you can see a basic HTML file and I am going to open it with Notepad++. Here it is and I'll just write inline CSS. Okay, then come here on this run and open it with Chrome. And you can see no style available at this moment for this document. Firstly, I'll change the body background color with inline CSS. So just before the angle bracket, put the cursor and hit the space bar from your keyboard to make some space and write the HTML style attribute. Okay, and equal sign and double quotation. Here goes the way of writing inline CSS. That's all. Okay. What I did, I just wrote style attribute, equal sign and double quotation. Here, I'll write color property and clone and name of the color green and semicolon. Just save this document and reload this page again you see color changes okay if i want to change the background color just write background color and put clone and value of the background d7 a bit brown save the document again and reload the page okay now you can see the color of the whole document, the text color of the whole document is same. But the magic of the inline CSS is that it will, it can not be overwritten by any other style. Again put the cursor before the angle bracket and hit a space, write title, write a style. Now I'm just going to write color property, clone and color is red and semicolon. Okay. Then we could learn that using inline CSS, we can override the main effect of any CSS. It can be any external CSS or any internal CSS. When we write any internal when we write any inline CSS to any HTML element, that will be the main style for that element. Okay, we are going to add background color, black, control S to save the document. Okay, so you could see how to change with inline CSS. Well, this is a paragraph at the same time. You can just change the style of this paragraph. I'm just going to write an style just again. Put the cursor, hit a space and style. You can just add any font size clone and font size to any pixel to make it much more bigger. Okay. It's bigger now. 40 pixel, 60 pixel. You can see it more bigger. Okay, just change the color. If you want to add any property, just make sure that you are going to write after the semicolon. Okay, after the semicolon, make some space and write any CSS property. Okay, just I'm going to write color yellow. Yellow and background color. What should be the background color? Black. Here goes the changes. Now I'm just going to manage the 
height and width of this image here goes the image and just you can just write the style attribute write equal sign double quotation and here you will just add height attribute and clone height 320 pixel okay so here goes the image if i reload it then you can see the width is now 320 pixel okay and width 400 pixel okay here goes it and another one is the list element you can just um, create some other list element one two three four just check it again here goes one two three four okay i'm just going to move this code upper to see it clearly okay here goes it now i'm just going to add a style here sorry equal sign and double quotation what I will do just I will remove this bullet point list style clone none semicolon reload it so it is gone now I can individually add a style here a style equal double quotation color red okay you can change it at the same time you can do it for every element blue pink and yellow well here goes the ways you can use inline css okay friends hope you could understand how to write inline css and the benefits of inline css and you can change the font family font family Say for example, Arial. Okay. Here goes the changes. You can see the font of these two different elements are different. So you can change font family, font size. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change the font size. okay so you can style different using inline css to any html element okay thank you for watching please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel hope to see you in the next video